Hey everybody, Carl Alwine here. It's been a while. It's been probably three weeks. Uh, that's because I have a day job. That job had lots of work. Lots of work, no days off. So no videos since then. Um, now I'm back to building customer engines. All right, stick with me. I got a, a topic today. Let's say you got a, how do you organize your project? Or what do you do first in your project? Take some of these ideas with a grain of salt. But here we go. This is number 119. It's a uh, customer named John Draper, and he provided the block. Okay, so you've got a block. Get it machined. You've got to do a stroker clearance on your, on your block. All right, should you stroker clearance first? Should you put your cam bearings in? Should you do your balance first? You've got your connecting rods, your crankshaft, your pistons. These are a set of diamond pistons. Well, I'm going to try to explain. Now, first of all, this is a lot of good stuff here. The billet caps for the front and rear and center. Uh, nice comp star rods, a magnum crankshaft. Check this out. Some AFR heads. And these were worked by the guys who make the the uh it's what m and m machining or engineering i will put a link to their website on um because i don't want to mix that up those are the guys that made the um i guess it's called like the generation next the uh the block the small block chevy block that can be made to any configuration a 400 small block an lt small block Big bore, tall deck. Um, anyway, those guys worked on his heads and did the port job and set the valve springs. So this is kind of a long intro. So I'll get it organized and stick with me. All right, so here's how I organize it. I get the block, sent to the machine shop, Sometimes I'll have them do the clearancing. Sometimes I'll do it. On this one, I did the hand clearancing. And what I do is clearance, a rough clearance, initially from experience on how deep and, and where I think it's going to be needed. This probably will be need further clearancing. Then I clean the block up. I don't put cam bearings in. Another thing you're going to have to do, though, is get the, the balance. You can buy a rotate and assembly balanced or you can take everything to a local balance shop, have them balance the crankshaft. I had Callie's balance the crankshaft at Callie's. I gave them the bob weights. I took the connecting rod weights, the piston weights, the um, rod bearing weights, the ring weights, and sent that all the Callie's and Callie's balance the crankshaft. All right, so... What I'm going to do first is with a clean block, with the rough uh, clearancing, I am going to um, put main bearings in, set the crank in, put one rod and piston combo in without rings, with, with the bore really clean. I don't want to make any scratches from from dirt that has is residual. Um, I'm going to oil up the piston, oil up the the uh, piston bore one at a time put the rod piston on the crank spin it and see where it hits it may even hit inboard here so I've done a pre-clearance there and then mark where it is needed to further grind then go to the next one then the next one then the next one and so on and so on after that I'll take everything apart of course then do the final clearancing and cleaning Thorough cleaning with really hot water, soap, oil it up. Um, then put the cam bearings in. Then set the main bearings in and the main caps, clamp them down. Check for uh, bearing clearance. Then put the crank in, assemble rods and pistons. Put rods, pistons, rings in. Uh, now you have your short block. Later in the video, you'll see the progress of the seeing if I need to do further clearancing. Check 
Check out this piston. Okay. It's a diamond shelf piston. Like support ribs here. It's coated. This is a flat top. Uh, it's a 40 over and it's a one inch compression height. The pin goes into the um, oil rings. That's no biggie, you just put a support rail there. It's also gas ported. Molly says, tap the pin to set this one, this, uh, I guess it's a wire lock, and then tap it on this side to set the other wire lock. It feels pretty normal. I'll have to put these in a rod vise. I'll be back so I can get this apart. Well, check out this crankshaft. The magnum with the mains are gun drilled. You can tell by the ring um, that it's uh, forged steel. I'm just hitting it with this with plastic. Here's the ring. This. Yeah, nothing to this. That bore, pretty boring. If you can see any of the gun drill mains, like this one here, kind of goes right into the back, and there's a plug, a core plug that they install back here. So, if that core plug ever comes out, there's going to be oil from the engine going out to the, um, like the transmission or the rear. Hey, one thing I noticed though, this material is actually smoother. And it doesn't catch the rag, uh, you know, to to grab material off of it. Let's see how there is some of that. Okay. I can hear that there's thrust. Can you hear that? I think I'll check thrust right now too. Moving the crank back and forward, okay. So the bearing, bottom half, two and a half that way, two and a half that way, five. So that's good. If you put the top half on, in theory, it ought to be about the same. I'm just going to put a cap here on number one and number five.
This is if it was number one. Now this is going to be backwards, just so you know. Tell the clearance is going to be okay on that. All right. Let's take this back down and let's do the moment of truth. Can you see? Remember, this is a four inch stroke. Close. How much clearance? Some say like 60 thou. All right, I don't need the clearance on this one. But that does not mean I don't have to clearance on the other. So I do a full rotation. I did not do that because there's inboard. I really wasn't worried. If, if you have a rod that has got a flat shoulder side like that, they usually never hit that inboard area. But the ones that have like a little shoulder bump, they'll bump if you don't clearance it. But that's rotating good. While you're at it, you can see if the piston is, you know, close to the deck or out of the deck, anything weird there. Okay, this is the piston three or, or in the position three. That goes right to the, the top right there. See, it actually, you can hear it. So right there, now I have to mark that. I don't need the clearance down there, just up here at this top, top area. So you'll run into that, just minor clearancing. You don't wanna to do too much ahead of time and break through. So I saved the final final after putting it all together. All right, and the other place to check is right down there. Where the crankshaft counterweight and the uh, piston bottom, if they bump there, uh, then that could happen. Uh, you could have you could mark it and have your, your crankshaft uh, balance shop uh, kind of massage that. And look at this one, I totally missed. Yeah, I ground off over to the the camera left, and that needs to be ground over to the right. That is uh, number eight.